Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Julie who was trapped between walls. Cement began pouring down on her from all angles, and she was buried alive. Fifteen years later, a young engineer named Sam graduated from college. At her graduation party, her father, the owner of a demolition company, gave her a gift, a job supervising the demolition of a building in the middle of nowhere. If she was successful, she would become his partner. Her first assignment happened to be the gigantic and unique architectural structure where Julie had been buried alive. The structure was the product of Joseph Malastrazza, an eccentric architect obsessed with Egyptian architecture. Samantha arrived at the Malastrazza's building and was greeted by Mary, the caretaker. Mary lived with her son, Jimmy, who was a loner kid. Sam told Mary she would be staying in one of the apartments in the building. Jimmy took her bags to her apartment and explained the rules of the building. She was to stay off the eighth floor because it was Malastrazza's, and the roof because it was too dangerous. As she was walking to her room, she saw a room labeled as Julie's. She then entered her room and immediately took a bath to clean herself up. Later that day, Sam met Mary and asked her how many people still lived in the apartment. Mary replied that only four people people lived in it, Mary and Jimmy, and two tenants who had refused to leave. Sam was intrigued by the building and its mysterious tenants. She wondered who the two tenants were and why they had refused to leave. She also wondered what had happened to Julie. Sam's journey into the Malastraza building was just beginning. She was about to uncover a dark secret that had been buried for 15 years. The next day, Sam prepared to analyze the structure of the building. She was in charge of providing a report on how much TNT was needed to knock down the building, and she had to determine the best rupture points and type of explosives. A few hours later, Sam went to a mini market to buy some food and drinks. Out of curiosity, she borrowed a computer to browse the history of the apartment building. She discovered that in 1993, there had been a series of missing people. When they were finally found, it was horrific. Sixteen people, men, women, and children had been sealed in small compartments in the building, which were then filled with liquid concrete. One of the victims was the architect himself, Malastraza. A construction worker was initially blamed for the murders, but he was later found innocent, leaving the crimes unsolved and the murderer unknown. Back at the building, Sam again marked the best rupture points to knock down the building, but she was surprised when a man ran towards her carrying an axe. It turned out that this man was one of the tenants who still lived in the building and refused to leave, and he was unhappy about the the destruction of the building. That night, Jimmy secretly took Sam to the eighth floor, the forbidden floor. Jimmy told Sam about Malastraza, the architect of the building, who had died inside the wall. He entered a room and showed her the wall where Malastraza's body had been found. When his body was found, his face was almost ripped off because of the cement. His face was no longer recognizable. His mother, Mary, was the one who had finally managed to identify him. Jimmy also informed her that out of the 16 victims, there was a small child named Julie. Sam was horrified by what she had learned. She couldn't believe that such a horrific crime had happened in the building where she was now staying. She wondered who the murderer was and why they had targeted the building's tenants, and she wondered what had happened to Julie. Sam's journey into the Malastrazza building was becoming increasingly dangerous, but she was determined to uncover the truth about the building's dark past. The lights went out, and Sam cut her leg after panicking in the darkness. Later, Jimmy washed her wound and began to caress her thigh. It became obvious that the young man fancied her, and he tried to make a move on her, but she told him to stop. In the evening, Sam was looking in the mirror when she saw the glass behind her shaking violently. She lifted the mirror and saw blood flowing out of the hole. Suddenly, Sam was immediately pulled into the wall, and she woke up realizing that she was now trapped inside. A moment later, cement began pouring down on her from all angles. She could go nowhere else. As she started screaming, she woke up from her sleep. It turned out to be a nightmare. As she could no longer sleep, she wandered around her apartment. Suddenly, something appeared right in front of her shocking her. However, it was just her boyfriend, Peter, who wanted to give her a surprise. Sam took Peter to look around the apartment. They secretly went to the eighth floor. While exploring the eighth floor, Sam and her boyfriend discovered a secret passageway on the floor. Sam went down it, and she discovered a secret room. This room would allow someone to view any of the apartments secretly. Sam realized that Jimmy had been spying on her while she was taking a bath. She talked to Mary about it, and Jimmy, who felt embarrassed, walked away. Later that evening, Peter thought that Sam should leave tomorrow, and she agreed with him. As Peter and Sam spent their time together that night, Jimmy grew jealous of them. The following day, Sam packed her clothes to leave the apartment. She also prepared a report on how much TNT was needed to knock down the building. Before parting, Jimmy apologized to Sam for spying on her. He then gave her a gift 
a copy of the Journal of Malastraza, the building's architect, Sam realized from reading the journal that there must be a large, open space in the center of the building. Jimmy went to the roof to look for an opening to the hidden space. However, he did not return. Sam and her boyfriend followed to look for Jimmy. They discovered a massive shaft in the center of the building. They heard Jimmy calling from down in the shaft, saying that he was hurt. Sam had her boyfriend lower her into the shaft on a rope. At first, everything went smoothly without any problems at all. But suddenly, Peter was shot by someone with a sharp iron. As a result, Peter died bleeding in front of his girlfriend, who was shocked to see this. Sam fell to the bottom. Sam awakened at the bottom of the shaft. Surprisingly, she was not alone there. There was a mysterious person. To her surprise, that mysterious man was Malastraza, the architect, who she thought had been dead entombed in the wall. It turned out that he had been trapped there this whole time. Malastraza was holding a radio. In the radio recording, there was Jimmy's voice asking for help. In other words, the voice that Sam had heard earlier was pre-recorded by Jimmy himself. Sam was horrified. She didn't know what to do. She was trapped in a shaft with a madman, and her boyfriend was dead. Shortly, Jimmy sent Sam a letter from above. In the letter, he wrote that he was keeping her down in the shaft until she learned to love him. He then mailed Sam's demolition report to her father and sank her car into a lake. This was all done to create the perception that Sam had not returned home because she had gone on vacation with her boyfriend. Back in the shaft, Malestraza told Sam a shocking revelation. He revealed that he was the mastermind behind the murders of the 16 people who had been found entombed in the wall. He believed that the secret to the longevity of ancient Egyptian monuments was that they conducted rituals during construction that involved burying living victims inside the walls. He wanted his buildings to last forever, so he buried people alive inside their walls. He further revealed that one of the victims was Mary's husband. Mary had decided to keep Malestraza locked up in the shaft forever as a prisoner as an act of revenge. She had also fooled everyone by identifying another victim's body as Malestraza's. Everyone believed that lie and thought that Malestraza had died so that she could keep Malestraza herself as her prisoner. After this shocking revelation, Jimmy was back at the hole and sent down a cassette tape. Malestraza played the tape, and Jimmy said that he wanted to see Sam and Malestraza dance. Malestraza told Sam that they needed to obey Jimmy's order. If they did what Jimmy wanted, Jimmy was nice, but could be very cruel and imaginative if they disobeyed Jimmy's orders. So, Sam agreed to dance. But, when Jimmy told them to kiss, she refused. Malastraza pulled her close and forced her to kiss him. After a few seconds, Jimmy told them to stop and threatened Malastraza not to touch Sam again. As a gift for their obedience, Jimmy sent down a basket with food, water, and a two-way radio. He told Sam to keep the radio with her so that they could talk and be close. Later that night, Mary came to the roof. Sam immediately screamed to get help from Mary. Mary was very surprised to see Sam in the hole with Malastraza. She angrily told Jimmy that the place was for the architect, not for anyone else. She realized that Sam must stay in the hole with Malastraza or else she would report this incident to the police and they would take Mary away and Jimmy would be an orphan. Sam was trapped. She was stuck in a shaft with a madman and her boyfriend was dead. She didn't know what to do. In the afternoon, Sam's father and his demolition team arrived at the apartment with Sam's report. They began to set up the explosives. Meanwhile, Sam was still stuck in the hole with Malastraza. She continued to seduce Jimmy, hoping that he would free her and save her from the explosion. However, her efforts were unsuccessful. Seeing this, Malastraza told her to save her energy. He then dug a tomb that he had designed with several pipes connected to the cement tank. Malastraza believed that when the detonation team tried to knock the building down, it would not be destroyed if an additional person was buried alive. He decided to sacrifice himself to save the building. He then asked Sam to kill him. She eventually did after some taunting, and he thanked her after he fell into his tomb, and it began to fill with cement. Meanwhile, outside the building, Mary was keeping Jimmy calm as they set up and began to install the explosives. As the countdown began, Jimmy started to change his mind. He screamed Sam's name and ran toward the building. Sam's father told them to stop the countdown. Sam was then lifted out of the hole and put in an ambulance. Mary was arrested as she was involved in the kidnapping of Malastraza. At the end of the film, Sam narrated that Malastraza built 27 buildings and that they are all still standing. He considered this apartment building as his masterpiece. He didn't want it to be demolished. He even sacrificed himself to save the building. So... As a sign of respect, this building would not be demolished and would remain his legacy. And that's how the movie ends. If you love our work, subscribe for more.